everybody. Welcome back to Drug Talk. As always, I'm your host, Garrett Campbell. Today, we're going to be discussing the medication known as Brexanolone. Its brand name is Zopresso. And before I talk about the medication itself, just keep in mind that this channel is for information purposes only and not to be used as a source for recommendations for your personal health care. So Brexanolone is a neuroactive steroid GABA-A receptor modulator. In terms of indications for use, this medication is indicated to be used in the treatment of postpartum depression. Before somebody was to use Brexanolone, there are some precautions and warnings that they should be made aware of. Sedation, somnolence, loss of consciousness, and an altered state of consciousness have all been reported. If excessive sedation occurs, the infusion should be stopped immediately, and then after the symptoms resolve, they can then start the infusion at the same dose or at a lower dose. Cognitive and motor function may be impaired after the use of Brexanolone, so patients should be told to avoid doing things like driving or operating heavy machinery until the sedative effects wear off. Suicidal thoughts or behaviors may occur, particularly in younger patients. You should avoid the use of this medication in patients who have end-stage renal disease. And finally, if hypoxia occurs, the infusion should be immediately stopped and not retried after hypoxia is resolved. Now, once somebody is made aware of the precautions and warnings and they start to use Brexanolone, they would typically be given this medication through an IV infusion. Initially, they would be given a 30 microgram per kilogram per hour IV infusion through hours 0 to 4. Through hours 4 to 24, they would increase the infusion to 60 micrograms per kilogram per hour. And then they would increase the dose and maintain the dose at 90 micrograms per kilogram per hour through hours 24 to 52. They would then start to decrease the dose. The total dose would be 60 hours or 2.5 days. As with all medications, there are some side effects or adverse reactions that patients may experience while using Brexanolone, so we'll go over some of those here now. Dry mouth may happen in 3 to 11% of patients. Dizziness, presyncope, and vertigo may happen up to 13% of the time. Sedation or somnolence can happen between 13 and 21% of the time. And some more rare but serious side effects would be a loss of consciousness, which can happen 3 or 5% of the time. Suicidal thoughts or behaviors, or hypoxia. That's all we're going to talk about today with Brexanolone. As always, I'm very thankful you took the time to go by and watch one of my videos. If you found the information valuable and you'd like to help grow this channel, you can like the videos, share the videos, or most importantly, subscribe to the YouTube channel. There's also some links in the description you can check out as well. That's it for today. Take care.